Hey guys, Richard from Serbworks here. I've got a brand new client that wants to rank for the keyword web design. And today I'm just gonna show you how I quote this client without guessing based on what the title tags I see and without just using my SEO intuition. I'm gonna show you how I take a deep dive and have a look at all the SEO metrics behind these top ranking sites. Come with me and I'll do a screenshot and I'll show you how this is done. So the first thing that I do is type in their exact keyword into Google and I make sure that I have the SerpWorks tool turned on over here so I can get a complete overview of all the SEO metrics behind the sites that are ranking for this keyword. So as I come down the page here, I can see all of the SEO metrics behind these sites. I've got the Majestic module, Moz and Ahrefs data, the SEMrush module, and all of the on-page SEO metrics as well, such as the heading tags, the word count, and the keyword density. Now when I do this type of analysis for a keyword, the first thing that I check is the domain age. Now as you can see, the domain age is in this cell here. And as I scroll down the page, what I'm looking for are the youngest domains in the top 10. Now my client's domain is nine years old and I see the last three sites here all have a domain age younger than my client's site. So that's a good initial starting point and a positive sign that my client's domain wouldn't be too far out of place in these top 10 results. Trying to rank a one or two year old domain amongst 10 other domains that are all over a decade old is really an uphill battle. So that domain age check is always a great starting point. The next thing I check for is the exact match anchor text density. This site here in first place says 16% and that means that 16% of all the links pointing to this page, which is actually 73,000 inbound links, as indicated here by the forward slash because this is an inner page, all have the exact match anchor text of web design. And if I click on their anchor text density cloud here, you can see they also have a whole heap of partial match anchors that are really driving their rankings as well. As you can see, with SerpWorks active, I can easily compare the anchor text density ratios of all these sites, and I can quickly determine what the acceptable and average anchor text ratio is for this keyword. Now I've got a clear idea of what the average anchor text density is for this niche and what's working, let's take a look at some of these other SEO metrics. Now when I look through the Majestic metrics, I'm looking at the trust flow of each site and the topical relevance of all their inbound links, indicated by these colors here. The last thing that I'd want to see here is all of these sites having completely on-topic inbound links in the category of business or computers and web design. When you see that, it actually means that Google is definitely favoring sites that have all of their inbound links right on topic. But as we can see here, we have a pretty mixed bag of results regarding topical relevancy. So as long as I'm getting great links from good sites, I don't really have to worry too much about whether those sites are related purely to web design or business services. Moving across to the Moz cell, I like to compare the site's domain authority in comparison with their Moz trust. When I start seeing DA around 50, accompanied by Moz Trust metrics six and above, it's a clear indication that you're in a pretty competitive niche. And from what I'm seeing here, this keyword definitely has sites with strong link profiles behind them, according to these Moz Trust scores and their DA scores. As I move across to the SEMrush shells, I can see the site here in first place is just head and shoulders above all of these other sites in regards to visible keywords and monthly traffic. It's great to have a look at the top site's visible keywords to see which ones are bringing in most of their traffic. You can see as per the traffic column here on the right, the majority of their traffic comes from the keyword website design. The last thing I do is check for the word count of each site on the first page to make sure my client site has a similar word count that is equally high as the sites in the top three spots. For the keyword web design or website design Sydney, as I'm searching from a Sydney based IP, it seems to be quite heavily link driven and quite competitive, so I wouldn't pay too much attention to the keyword density or the site's on-page heading tag structures. If I saw a site ranking in the top five positions that had weak link metrics in comparison to all of these other sites, that's when I take a really close look at what that site is doing in relation to its on-site SEO. So now that I have a strong holistic overview of what's driving the rankings of the top sites for this keyword, I can formulate a plan that fits within the parameters of what Google is showing me to be effective for this keyword. 
for this keyword, I'd be looking to ensure that my client has around 1,700 words on his page with a keyword density of around 3%. I'd also make sure that we kept the inbound link text ratios to around 8% based on what I'm seeing here. And most importantly, I'm able to easily tell whether or not this niche is even penetrable based on what I'm seeing here with the SEO metrics that are driving these sites. With this overview, I'm able to set more, more realistic expectations for the client based on the strength of the sites that I see here in the top 10 results. If I don't use the SerpWorks tool to do my initial analysis, then I'm forced to source all of this information manually, which is extremely time consuming. So within the few minutes it's taken me to create this video, I've been able to see virtually every SEO metric that is responsible for these websites rankings. Guys, hopefully you've taken something away from this and learned something new. If you want to see exactly what I'm seeing here in the search results to help you with your SEO, then go to serpworks.com forward slash download. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.